Hello and welcome to Math and Art. In this video we're going to be looking at finding the nth term of a linear sequence which is decreasing. So we've got two examples here. Um, the first one, the sequence is 21, 16, 11 and 6. So this is a decreasing sequence. First thing you need to do before you can find out the formula is to work out the difference. So this time we're going down by 5, again by 5 and again by 5. Now because we're going down by 5, in our formula we're going to have a minus 5n. The minus indicates that we're going down. So if that was a minus 7, it would be a minus 7n. And then we need to know what number goes after this. So the number that goes after this is what number would come before the 21. Well, if you work backwards, you just need to add 5, giving you 26. And that's a positive 26. So your formula is minus 5n plus 26. So that's the formula for the nth term of this. If you want, you can rewrite that as 26 minus 5n, that would also be correct. Let's have a look at the second one. So 7, 4, 1, minus 2. What's happening here? Well, we're going down by 3, down by 3, down by 3. What would come before this? Well, if we're going down by 3, we just add 3, making this 10. So we've got minus 3n because we're going down by 3, and then this is a positive 10, so it's minus 3n, plus 10. So this is the formula for the nth term. If you want, you can rewrite this as 10 minus 3n. So I hope you're able to follow that. Um, I'm going to, I want you to have a go at a couple of questions just to make sure you've really understood that. So pause the video now and have a go at these three questions, find the nth term for each of these, and we'll compare answers in a minute. I hope you managed to do them okay. Let's compare answers and see how you got on. So the first one, we're going down by 2 and the number before this would be 9. So it's minus 2n plus 9, or if you prefer, 9 minus 2n. The second one was minus 3n plus 14, or if you prefer, 14 minus 3n. And the final one, minus 4n plus 9, which can be written as 9 minus 4n. Alright, so let me know how you got on in the comments below. And thank you for joining us today on Math and Art.